guys and gals and all my non-binary friends so the other day i was cleaning my closet and it took like literally a whole day because i hadn't cleaned my closet like all uh, summer or whatever that's besides the point i was cleaning my closet and i was listening to this podcast and i was really trying to figure out like what do i want to do for my channel and how can i best be useful in this time before the election and i figured I would go state by state and try to do my best to show you guys your ballots and what's on your ballot and who's running and what kind of elections are going on. You know, just take a little sneak peek. I do believe that in order to create a better world, even in the most perfect utopia, the best way to get everyone's voices heard is to vote. So even though I believe that this country and this system that we're working is not really working for anyone else i understand that taking away people's voices and saying okay well i don't want to vote because i'm not going to be hurt anyway it's just leave that's what they want you to do they need you to feel this disinterested and unsatisfied because then if you if we actually all got together and we voted how powerful and how much change we could do like the things that affect us like you vote for your sheriff you vote, you vote for all different type of um positions and i feel like a lot of times they do want to vote a lot of times we don't know who we're voting for or what we're voting for yeah, just go through every all 50 states really try to give you as much information as i possibly can the important dates to remember and so on and so forth so yeah let's get into the video the first state up is the state that i'm currently residing in which is texas ooh, ooh, ooh. um so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna start off with Texas because I feel like start off with yourself before you can, uh, you know, help anybody else, right? So with Texas, we have 38 electoral votes to uh, win or lose in November. And I feel like a lot of people think that Texas is just like red, red, red. Even if we don't win, the Democrats don't win Texas, just making Donald Trump work in uh states that you normally republicans wouldn't have to work for it's very important right so um yeah and also if enough people vote you know you guys we can change some things we can turn this red state blue stop playing or at least purple all right and important dates for you guys to know order registration deadline is october 5th Texas is a state that doesn't allow in, uh, same day voter registration. So we do have a deadline. It's October 5th and that's like three weeks from now. So yeah, um, early voting will start on the 13th and end on the 30th. So three well, with four days before the election, that's when early voting election day. That's when early voting ends in Texas. And then to vote by mail, to request to vote by mail, you uh, is october 23rd and then the actual election we know come on say it with me november 3rd guys if you're not sure about your registration like you think you're registered but you're not sure you can actually use this website that i'm using um most of the um, information i'm going to be giving in these videos are going to be either from vote save america hence the title or from uh ballotpedia is that what it's called yeah, Ballotpedia. All of the links will be down below. And most of this information will be from those two websites. And specifically with Vote Save America, you can uh, check your voter registration. So even though we are in a pandemic and it's very much uh, suggested that we all vote by mail, unfortunately, Texas, you must either be uh, 65 years or older, have a disability, or be out of the county on election day, and during the period from early voting by personal appearance, or be confined in jail. According to uh, Texas Tribune, Texas defines disability as a sickness or physical condition that prevents a voter from appearing in person without personal assistance or the likelihood of injury, injury injuring the voter's health. Lack of immunity to the coronavirus doesn't qualify a voter for mail-in ba ballot based on disability, but a voter can consider it along with their medical history to decide if they meet the requirements. So basically, even though it's very much suggested that everyone, every state should be voting by mail, unfortunately, Texas is run by a bunch of fucking conservatives who are trying to cling to power and so they're not going to care about your safety whether or not you can get a fucking these if you do not have anything limiting you from staying home you have to vote in person just how it is it fucking sucks but you know we gotta vote so we can change the people who have the power to make these rules you know if i'm voting by mail when do i send my ballot and how do i make sure it's counted usps will be handling a high volume of 
mail and will likely be experiencing delays. That is why we recommend mailing your ballot by October 20th at the latest. Does my state require ballots to be postmarked? In order to count, absentee ballots must be postmarked it by election day and received no later than 5 p.m. November 4th. What are my non-mail ballot return options? So basically, how can I return my ballot without actually sending it through the mail? You can deliver your completed mail ballot in person at your county election office. So if you are trying to use mail-in voting, but you don't want to actually mail in your um, ballot because you're scared because of delays and all these other deadlines, you can go to your county election office and... Texas has expanded the in-person delivery option during the pandemic to allow voters to return their ballot in person as soon as they're completed. You will need to present a photo ID when dropping off your ballot in person and you are good to go in Jesus name. You want to track your ballot but you're not in the military, you need to contact your um, county elections office and be able to help you with that. What if I request a vote by mail ballot but i decide i want to vote in person instead you can still vote in person the process will be easier if you bring your mail ballot with you to your polling place so you can surrender it before voting in person if you don't have your ballot or never received it you cast a provisional ballot your vote will be counted once the county determines it never received your mail-in ballot do not mail a ballot and also vote in person guys we do not want to commit voter fraud and also voter fraud is like a scam like it doesn't really happen like it's like less than one percent of voting is like fraudulent or whatever some bullshit like that so don't believe that fucking liar in the White House, okay? <laughs> Voter fraud is not like really a thing, girl. Your ballot is okay. It is okay. The, like, the ones who are still in the elections are not actually the ones who are voting twice. No one's actually doing that. And if they are, they're more than likely they're getting caught, guys. If I don't receive my ballot by October 20th, okay? If you requested your ballot, but you still haven't received it at least 14 days before the election, you can still cast a provisional ballot during early voting or on election day to... Hopefully, if you haven't had a chance, um, by October 20th, you can still try to get a provisional ballot. You, I think you have to go, you still, you have to go to your polling place to get a provisional ballot. I think I actually voted by provisional ballot because I had to change my address and so I had to vote with a provisional ballot. I think that was this year. That was last year. Guys, voting is every year. It's not just for the president. It's every year. It's all down that ballot, bro. That's I understand just telling people to vote is not enough, but you have to understand that on top of like mobilizing in the streets, we have to mobilize every year and get people that we love and people who we see are good and working hard in the community to, you know, um, run for election. You guys, it's not just about voting. It's about finding people who are worthy of these offices, you know, and I know that's like, oh my God, so much money into politics, but we have to do something, man. Texas does have voter ID law, so you do need your um, ID to vote in Texas. So let's talk about what we're going to be voting for. So Texas right now has 16 out of the 31 state Senate seats are up for election in 2020, which will influence the redistricting the redistricting process following the 2020 census. If you haven't, by the way, please fill out the census. Um, it's, you can go to mycensus.org. I will have that actually linked down below as well because that's how you get resources, guys. Because I know people are like, I don't want to tell the government how many people are in my house. Tell them so that you guys can get taken care of for sure. Do the census, guys. It's important. 16 out of 31 state Senate seats, and that is the 1st District, 4th, 6th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 24th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. Those are all the districts who have state senate um, seats open right now and are up for election. There are seven um, state supreme court seats that are open. Again, you guys, yeah, we vote for judges. I believe in abolishing prisons and, and police, but baby, right now, in this system right now, we need to have a say in what judges are bar, um, you know, making all these calls. We have seven state Supreme Court seats available and 24 intermediate um, appellate court seats. I hope I said that right, baby. Judges, baby. Tap, 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 your honor type shit. Great thing about Ballotpedia, their menu and their navigation system on the left right hand side is just so well put together, you know? So you can go to state judges and then that'll lead you to this and then they take you, you can go state by state and it tells you Texas, seven seats, seven Supreme Court seats, 24 intermediate seats, right? So then you, 
these are really great tools and I, I don't think a lot of people know about them and I understand that a lot of people just don't have time to look at that. Yeah, hopefully you'll take out the time to like look at this website. The court sees Jan Bland versus Republican versus Kathy Chung, who is a Democrat. These Republicans, they got it locked up. Jane is also an incumbent. Ugh. Miss Chung, she actually uh, ran in 2018, but she lost the general election and she's running again now um which is cool you know never give up just because i lost last time let me go back in there the big office go off the big office girl those are some of the judges that are running for election right now in texas so yeah i mean officials who are running we have a county commissioner sheriff you vote for the sheriff guys you vote for the sheriff you know what that means i'm gonna tell you what that means i'm gonna tell you what that means these people have to be warehouse no recreational time in the jails we put them away and maybe we got to do is build warehouses that after this generation is gone they pair amazon will buy them as, as warehouses somebody voted that crazy fucker in like this man is talking about genocide and people voted him into office y'all need to vote so we can have some ethical people up in these positions let's do this guys let's start a revolution all right, so yeah, we have a sheriff uh, up in my county right now. We have a county court at law, a county attorney. The Department of Education is having uh, elections. District attorney is in an election right now. Constable and judges, y'all. District attorney, we have Kim Og up, who uh, is the incumbent, actually. Marijuana policy reform and in partnership with local and law enforcement, diverted more than 10,000 misdemeanor offenders to an education class instead of charging them with a crime. Today, no one in Harris County is arrested for misdemeanor possession of marijuana, leaving police on the street to handle serious crime and saving taxpayers for more than 28 million per year. Our program avoids implicit biases because everyone is eligible to avoid a, a criminal record. So she's basically saying since everyone can just take the class for a misdemeanor amount of uh, marijuana that, you know, we're avoiding implicit biases, which I mean, maybe just don't charge anyone for that. But you know, I'm happy about that. She and Mary Ann Huffman is going against her. So I'm sure that's more than Miss Huffman is offering. Definitely it's giving Brie Vanderkamp vibes. Okay, you know what? Brie Vanderkamp is too iconic for that. Let me not, let me not. Let me no, I mean, if the Snoop Dogg shirt isn't obvious enough, uh, I'm a bit of a stoner. Not only in the decriminalization of marijuana, but the legalization of marijuana and the espouncing of people's sentences and letting them go free because we've ruined people's lives for drugs that people are making billions and millions of dollars off of. So, yeah. So, all of that is up. Again, we got commissioner, sheriff, county at law, a county attorney, department of education, district attorney, tax assessor, collector, justice of the peace, constable, and judges up in Karis County alone. In Texas, we have four mayor's uh, ships. Are they, are they called mayor ships? Is that what they're called? I don't know. I just said that. Um, in Corpus Crispi, El Paso, Irving, and in Lubbock. So those are four cities that are that have mayor races up right now. And we have so many school uh, districts having races, guys. So if you are in any of these school districts at all, you, you, you have kids in these school districts, you just live near these school districts, any of that. Check out this list, check out the link below. And yeah, education is so important and who is in charge of all those uh, districts and who's the ones that are making the budget and deciding what school gets a bigger budget, that's important. It's just so much going on here in our great state of Texas. Just a cute little sneak peek and I, hopefully that just piqued your interest. Of course, it's not realistic to say I'm gonna be able to give you all the details of everything that's going on everywhere but i wanted to get, at least give you a little insider maybe more than what you started off with if you don't take anything else from this video just understand that voting is something that we have to participate in we might not like the system that we are in right now but until we change that system we have to vote and we have to put ourselves out there and be willing to not only vote but do that civic duty of running 
because there are so many great people out there who just aren't running because they feel like, oh, there's too much money in politics, it's too dirty, it's too this, it's too that. The only way to change all of that is to run, to vote, and to make mobilize and make a grassroots movement that cannot be denied i really truly believe that we need more activists in office guys in my video here and i hope you come along with my journey in all 50 states take care of yourself take care of each other wear a mask wash your face wash your ass and don't be an asshole bye